the same test. Just keep videoing it. So we can compare the two, sort of compare the two techniques. Because this one, I'm just going to pour alcohol up to the bottom of this, a little bit higher than the bottom of this grid. A little more, good measure. We can get into a whole discussion on the, the benefits or, or uh, the pluses and minuses of each one of these test techniques, but not today. I don't want to get into that. We can do that another time. But this is how I collect bees. I'm going to scoop them up. Um, okay. I, I, I want to use that them. cup to scoop bees. Yes. Okay, I'll give you a scoop of bees. Okay. So that you can put them in your uh, jar. I'm going to take bees off of one of these frames. We got a pretty good number of bees in uh, in my bucket. Uh, how many bees do you want? Full cup. Full cup. Full cup. Okay. I'm going to grab some bees for my test. It's actually about the same amount of bees that I will use in my test. So for the sugar roll, I put some powdered sugar into this jar and I'm literally rolling the bees in the sugar and using a, a jar that has one of those open lids so that uh, I can pour out the mites if we see any. So I'm going to take the powdered sugar, it's like a... How much powdered sugar did you put in the jar? Two tablespoons. You can see mites crawling around. Are they mites? I'm not sure. Just... I thought the one on the left looked like one. That, this one's like that one and then yeah. that those two, yeah. And they're alive? They are yeah. alive. They sure are. So, but then how do you kill them so they don't just walk back on the bees? Well, we're... You just spray the, them. The powdered sugar gets them off of the bee. So now these girls will go back to the colony and they'll be nice and sweet and so they'll be... Very popular. Uh, very popular. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this over here behind us, out of our way. And now using spray bottle, I'm going to spray this white piece of paper so we have a contrast and we can count the mites. One, two, I see two. So I'm looking at one there, one there, and I think the rest of the stuff might be debris. I'm going to put you to work, Gabriel. Just kind of gently uh, wash those those bees. It really only takes about 30 seconds to do a good washing on these bees. The drawback of this method is it does kill, kill the bees. The mites will sink in the alcohol and I don't see any. So and if you found two, two in your sugar test, then uh, I could potentially have, have missed some. So it's probably as good a method as this one. I got a few bees that are.